Yes. To enter in. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, good morning. This is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice. Let's get our IG family in. Good morning to you. God bless you. I know many of you are out getting ready to put your ribs on. <laughs> Come on in. Praise God. Hallelujah. Yes, in the spirit. Come on in. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. There is freedom. Good morning, Lisa Kirby. God bless you. Hey, Neoshi Dossi. Hey, Dorian. God bless you guys. God bless you, God. Dr. Patricia A. Scott. Hey, Sugar. From Cincinnati. You hang it with me. Good morning. Good will. Good morning. Yes, I want it. I want it. I want it. Do you know you need it? Yes, I do. Hallelujah. Good morning. <clears throat> Good morning, Wendy, off the information. Good morning, sister. Good morning, Roxanne. God bless you, Jonathan. Oh, yes, there is a flow. Good morning, Dr. Jamison. Good morning. Dr. Skillman, good morning. Praise God. Joyce Watkins, say hey, sugar. Good to see you all. Good morning, IG. Jessica, my love, God bless you all. Hey, listen, you all are at home. And everybody else is too. So, like, tag, and share, would you please? Hey, Freddie, God bless you. Elder Barbara Jackson. Good morning, Sylvia. Good morning, Kirkland. God bless you. Shelly speaks. Hey, sugar. God bless you all. Hey, folks, is home. So let's, why not get the word in early? Right? To enter in. Good morning. Hallelujah. Good morning, Mama Pearl. Good morning, Papa Nore. W.T. Martin. What's up? Alfred Benton. God. Good morning, Constance. Whitehurst. Good morning, show in room. Camilla S. Cook, thank God for you. Your texts are so pretty. Your poetry, your prose, I love reading. God bless you for being a scribe. Good morning, TJ. <laughs> Good morning, Dr. Patricia Thomas, prophet intercessor of me. Rhonda Dooley, Marianne Davis. Good morning. Pastor Joe Folsom. Oh, we are here. To Janine Bailey, there is a flow. There is a flow. Come on in. Yes. Teach us. Good morning, Zoomers. God bless y'all. Hey, Bundridge. Good morning. Would you all like to take and share? <clears throat> Let's get the people in before they go out to cook. <laughs> Overseer Ryan. God bless you. Somebody said it's Independence Day. Hey, Dr. Tanny. Good morning, Miss Sue. Miss Sue, you all right? Ursula Salah, good morning. Good morning, Juanita Campbell. Good morning, Chris Chris. Yes, Monica Monet. Good morning, Dr. Mildred Watson. Yes, yes, Toronto Hunter Stallworth. Pastor Asher Surprise. Good morning, sir. Yes, yes. Baby Vice. Good morning. Yes. Hey Kelly Cal. <laughs> Good morning, my sweet Kelly. Sonia Golden. God bless you. Good morning. Denise Curry. Oh, yes, we're here. We are here. We are here. Glennis Anderson Duncan. Good morning. You good? All right. Cora Green. Good morning. Yvonne O'Reilly. Gloria Jean, good morning, Cissy. Sharon Richmond Williamson. Cassandra B. Barnes, good morning. Beatrice Anderson Smith, Wendella Burroughs. Hey, good morning, LaShawn Renee. <laughs> good morning, coming up the timeline. Anthony Washington, yes. We flowing in the spirit this morning, absolutely. That's right, we flowing, we flowing. We are flowing, because we got the real liberty. We got the real liberty. <clears throat> we got the real liberty. I don't know what they're talking about. We got the real liberty. <laughs> we got the real independence. Good morning, Richard Nix. God bless you. Pamela Plummer, we're here flowing. Hallelujah. Hey, good morning. Tulsa, Oklahoma. Good morning. Thank you for joining. I love Tulsa. That's my 
my alma mater. The river is flowing. The real liberty. We got the real liberty. <laughs> I don't know what they talking about. Are we really free? Not in America. No. Did y'all see what just happened in the Supreme Court? We ain't free. The Lord don't make us free. We ain't free. Not here. Come on in. Hallelujah. Pastor Rita Bill, good morning. Wanda Craig, good morning. Tina Cole. Yes, Brenda Ann Brown, good morning. Life Tech and Share, Dr. Angela Marshall Sorrow. <laughs> Pamela Spidey, God bless you, Mary Washington. Hey, Flo. Hey, Melvin, good morning. Is that you? God bless you. Good morning, sir. <laughs> that is the original. <laughs> Tell the Barbara Jackson, God bless you. Hey. Good morning, Deacon Emma Ratton. I was glad to see you. I didn't get a chance to speak to you. I hugged you real tight. Good morning, Donald McIntosh. Good morning, your Aunt Reynolds. Yes, we're here. We're here. The Lord makes us free. Hallelujah. Dr. Thea Wilson. Good morning. <laughs> Boykins, I love it. Pamela Spidey, Lewis Anderson, Duncan, Gloria Thomas. Ain't nobody, nobody free but those that are made free by Jesus Christ. Those that the Holy Spirit sets free. Hey, that's why I'm so free. That's why I'm so happy. So free. So free. So free. I'm so free. Lord Jesus, my daughter said to me, Shannon, she said, Mama, you live in your best life. I am. I am. I'm living my best life because I tapped into the mysteries of God. I tapped into the secret. I tapped into what they were trying to keep away from me. Free conference call. You're here this morning. Thank God for you. Those of you that are on Zoom, good morning to you. Good morning to those of you that are joining us at Instagram. And for those of you that will come in later and join us at YouTube, we're so excited. Make sure that you sign, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Praise God. And you can always know when we're uploading new material. And we upload every morning. Also, go to the cathedral page and uh, make sure that you uh, subscribe to that page, follow that page as well. That's where we are on Sunday mornings. And uh, it's a great, great church. And God is rebuilding us, praise God. He's rebuilding us, great people are coming. And you're welcome to come as well. That's the Holy Ghost Cathedral, 1745 East Grand Boulevard. Good morning, Brother Dove. Good morning, Dr. Allen. Annette Mayonte. Deborah Wilson. Yes, yes. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Deborah. Thank you so much. Benny Mac, come on. We're flowing. Sarah Jordan, good morning. Oh, we just love you. Good morning, my Apollonia. Have you left the area yet? My God, I wish you, I wish I could see you before you go to the world. I want you to realize you may be stopping in different spaces, but the world is waiting for you. Don't you let it die. Don't you make it small. God has made you big and you have a message for the world. God bless you as you go to the world. Go you. Good morning, my firstborn. <laughs> big one is being out of glory and being out for you. Bill Wallace, Pastor Shannon Marie. Hey, Cheryl, good morning. Elder Bob Jackson, thank you. Rita Swain, thank you. Chesapeake, Virginia, God bless you. Thank you. Hey, yes. We're so glad that you are here. Oh, yes, yes. We got to make it happen. We got to do something. Somebody said there is feedback, there is sound. I don't know, it's not coming from me. Let's see. Let's see. Let's 
it went down. Can you all hear me now? Can't hear, Bishop. Hold on. All right. Thank you so much. Can you all hear now? Sound, sound. Testing one, two, one, two. Testing one, two. Sound is low. All right. Let's see. Let's see what's going on. Don't go nowhere. Come back. We're coming back. Hold on. All right, all right. Can you all hear me now? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Can you all hear me now? All right, all right, all right. <laughs> Just working out technical difficulties. We good? Praise God. Praise God. Can you all hear me now? All right, all right. <laughs> Holy Ghost knows everything. Somebody put that in the chat. <laughs> Holy Spirit knows everything, knows sound, <laughs> knows everything, knows technology. <laughs> hey, welcome. Good morning. God bless you. I know that's right. Listen, we're not praying. We're not playing. We 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 not um what they say, we're not new to this. Praise God. <laughs> we are true to this. You know, this is what um uh, Holy Spirit said to me, good morning. Uh, thank you, IG, for hanging with me. Knows everything. Somebody put that in the chat. Holy Spirit knows everything. Everything. Holy Spirit knows everything. Thank you, W.T. Martin. Thank you so much. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Listen, today is Independence Day for America. And for those that live in America, this is the day that they celebrate. So it gives a lot of people uh, some time off and some rest, right? <laughs> right there in the chat, Holy Spirit knows everything. And I'm telling you right now, if you and I could rely more on Holy Spirit, when we get in those little tight places and those little jams, and we feel like, you know, we don't know what to do, if we would just rely on Holy Spirit more. Mama Pearl said, ain't no stopping us now. <laughs> if we would just, just recognize that we have the help that we need. If we could just recognize that. Oh my God. Shannon said, Mommy, you live in your best life. I am. I'm living my absolute best life. Holy Spirit knows everything. And uh, I'm, I'm just excited to, even in something that's small, how to adjust the mics, what's going on with the sound, you know, how to adjust the, 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 the video, how to make sure I know IG. If we, Shirley says, if we cry out to Holy Spirit, he will show up. I promise you. And just in that moment, Holy Spirit spoke something to me. I was having some challenges uh, going live to the school, the Holy Spirit page. And I said, Holy Spirit, what do I do? Facebook is blocking me out. Facebook is doing this, that, and the other. Meta, the new meta. And uh, I was going out of the door and coming back into the house for something. And Holy Spirit said, change the tag. 
And I said, okay. So I, I went on YouTube and I said, okay, how do I do this? And I just fumbled around, changed the tag and haven't had any more trouble. Holy Spirit knows everything, knows everything. And I want you and I uh, to not relegate Holy Spirit to just something spiritual, all right? I, I don't want us to make Holy Spirit only applicable in spiritual things. I want us to get to the place I'm telling you, if I could tell you some wonderful, wonderful things that Holy Spirit has helped me with that had nothing to do with faith or church or ministry, just the helper himself. And if you and I could just rely more, ask more questions, who overseer Ryan? <laughs> I'm telling you, and, and just Camilla said, I'm a witness. Oversee Orion. What, what? If Holy Spirit can give you instruction. I'm telling you, just that quick. Just that quick. Just that quick. Just think about what Holy Spirit can do with our lives. You know, and every day, not only am I teaching, but you get to see moments. You get to experience li lived moments where um, you get to see what I need to do to fix the camera, fix the mic. You know, you, you get to see how I resolve it. And I'm telling you, I resolve everything by consulting the Holy Spirit. I resolve everything by, by consulting the Holy Spirit. I want you to put that in the chat. I want to resolve everything by consulting the Holy Spirit. Resolve everything. Relationships. You know, I, I, um, I, 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 I see a lot of people every day. I talk to a lot of people. Inboxing, you know, phone, now WhatsApp, all of these other pieces and devices. You know, and I speak to a lot of people. My spans, my reach is very large. You know, and sometimes, you know, people think uh, that I'm, you know, targeting them or what. I, I never do that. I don't do that. Uh, I just speak what the Holy Spirit says. I put it on. You know, I, I write it. If you don't say anything, I don't, you know, unless I'm playing around. But resolve in your, you can resolve everything, every situation, anything, cooking, parenting, traveling. And, you know, sometimes I'll reach out to certain people and I said, listen, consult Holy Spirit on this. You know, just consult Holy Spirit on this. You know, I, sometimes we know what we want. I was talking to evangelists. Sometimes we know what we want. And it's sometimes God will allow us to do it. But I've, I've seen so much. I've seen so many times <laughs> that I have underestimated Holy Spirit, Jonathan. I've underestimated, uh, estimated. Oh, Jonathan, listen to this, Dr. Patterson. I've seen this so many times. I remember being lost in the mountains with no GPS. My system went out. Wow. And Holy Spirit literally led me to thoroughly out. Boy, you about to make me holler. There's our chief. Good morning, chief. <laughs> and good morning, uh, Alan, God bless you. No job, no small. <laughs> I love it. No job too big, no job too small. I'm telling you, Father, Son, the Holy Spirit, they got it all. Yes. Yes. And many times we are not, we are underestimating. We are underestimating. You know, just down to little things. I'm in a kitchen remodel. 
And so just little things, you know, the Holy Spirit said, don't, don't put that away. Leave that out. And I had no idea Holy Spirit was telling me this little stuff. So I had no idea that they were coming yesterday to take out the sink and turn off the water and do all of that. And so when I finished the broadcast, Holy Spirit gave me some instructions. I went in the kitchen to fix my coffee. He said, do this, do this, do that. Okay. So I started doing it. I get a phone call. Ms. Vaughn, yes, darling. We're coming today to remove the sink. The countertops will be in tomorrow, blah, 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 after the holiday. And I'm like, are you serious? I said, come on. Because Holy Spirit had already told me. Vanita said, I've seen Holy Spirit fix little things. I don't know why I underestimate his power with the big things. Oh, God. Woo, glory to God. Just put in the chat. I know Holy Spirit can fix this. And just tell me what he's fixed for you. Put it in the chat right quick. What has he fixed for you? Let him out the mountains. Uh, glory to God. What, what is it that Holy Spirit, you have seen him. Dr. Shazetta, God bless you, girl. You and your precious husband and your wonderful son. I've seen him do it. I've seen him just small things. If we would just rely. Have you underestimated Holy Spirit, Dr. Karen Jenkins Watts? Oh, my God. Oh, my God, because he's so, so, so wise. Little things mean a lot. And we we swam to dismiss them because we don't think he's in it. Yes. Yes. Yes, Terrence. Wow. <laughs> Have you underestimated Holy Spirit? Hallelujah. Set free from drugs. Come on here. From drug addiction. Come on, Reverend Jemison. Oh, my God. Dr. Skillman. I want to resolve everything by consulting Holy Spirit. And it's the big, it's the small, it's the little, it's the in-between. That is the liberty of Holy Spirit. <laughs> they said, Holy Spirit helps me daily, helps me daily. With It's just too much to count. Uh, my daughter wrote something, Pastor Shannon, yesterday. And just as she was writing it, just it was like seconds before I was just praying for her. And just seconds before I saw it on Facebook, I said, wow, it's just talking to me. Just talking to me. Holy Spirit, the word of knowledge, the word of wisdom. Holy Spirit in our lives. Holy Spirit in my thoughts. That's liberty, folks, to know that I don't have to figure everything out. Look at this, Mildred Watson. Holy Spirit wiped out all my student loans. I was expecting a $10,000 reduction. Wow. <laughs> Keeps me safe when I'm driving. Yes, yes. In the middle of divorce, Holy Spirit led me to seminary. said, this is your window. And this one's on me. Didn't know what it meant. I got a full scholarship and a fellowship. During a time, it didn't make sense to anyone. Oh, evangelist. Oh, if I could show you a picture of the things I see for you. Woo. <laughs> Hallelujah. She said, I work in IT. And I can't tell you how many times he has given me answers to technical issues that I had no idea how to resolve. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Woo! Come on, Pixley. Look at this. And what happens when we don't? Holy Spirit told me not to wear a pair of shoes four days ago. And I did it anyway and fell as soon as I walked out of my door. Oh, my God. Woo! <laughs> Listen here, Sharon Bostic. I know Holy Spirit can fix this. He directed me to an old book that helped me to tutor a student. My God. Jesse says, I had a heart attack. Wow. And had to have surgery. Holy Spirit told me what to do afterward 
to maintain my health. Come on now. Holy Spirit is our freedom giver. He's the one that leads us to complete freedom and independence. It's the Holy Spirit that does this. And I was in the shower early this morning and the Holy Spirit said, ask this question. Are we free from sin or are we free to sin? <laughs> Woo, come on, come on. Somebody go with me on this one. Are we free from sin? Or are we free to sin? Oh, Robin, the Holy Spirit will help us in all of this. Listen to this. Pastor William Limon says, I misplaced my license and bank card. Tore up the house looking for it. Holy Spirit said, go back to the bank. And there it was. Nothing too big or too small for Holy Spirit's leading and care. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Gloria Thomas says, wow. George Washington Carver said, the Holy Spirit gave him the secrets of the peanut. Good God Almighty. Oh, y'all gonna make me run off this camera. <laughs> y'all gonna make me run off this camera. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have we underestimated Holy Spirit? My God, Dr. Not the elder, the overseer, Sandra Scruggs. I was missing one of my refugee people and was frantic. I said, wait a minute. Holy Spirit, you know where she is. Please tell her to call me. Within minutes, her name popped up on my phone. The agency had moved her suddenly because of mold in her house. Good God Almighty. <laughs> Good God Almighty. Good God Almighty. Mother Ella Bay made, made bads. I was to have surgery last Friday, but I told God I wasn't ready for it. And they called and rescheduled. <laughs> Whoa, my God, my God. Constance says, many years ago, I was trying to get to a church service and was lost in the woods. And the Holy Spirit said, keep the moon over your right shoulder. Whoa, and I found the church. What a time of deliverance. <laughs> Whoa, my God, my God, my God, my God. Look at this. Holy Spirit led me to the home I purchased and told me the company that would give me the loan. I know you're right. I know you're right about it. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Solomon said, I was speaking with a dear friend about how hard we make life because we don't get into the flow of Holy Spirit. Oh, my God, my God, my God. Holy Spirit helps me in working with special needs children to find resources that can help them to develop their skills that they need to help themselves. My God, <laughs> Samantha said, Holy Spirit told me, do not wear those shoes. I disobeyed and my shoes loose on me, had me limping around town to find a shoe store or glue. Finally, a woman rescued you. <laughs> Oh, my God. Look at Rhonda. My dad and I had to pick up our retirement ID. Extremely long line. 15 minutes. One of the workers called us up to the line, gave us our IDs. <laughs> oh, my God. Holy Spirit is our freedom rider. But are we free from sin or are we free to sin? I want somebody to, to hear that. Hallelujah. <laughs> Mother Pearl said, all we have to do is ask. Come on, collection. Good morning. Rita Swain, the Holy Spirit led me to stay in the house while there was a shooting. Come on, somebody. Come on. Come on. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, help me find the charger box for my phone that my granddaughter had took out of the wall. It sounds trite, but no other box in the house is powerful enough to charge my phone. Wow, <laughs> he's going to help you to find it today in the name of Jesus. Dr. Shazetta, a few years ago at the beginning of the pandemic, my body shut down. Couldn't walk, bound to the bed for six weeks. Doctor didn't have an answer, no COVID, no scientific disease. Holy Spirit told me to step by what to do, step by step. 
what to eat, what to take, how to spend time sitting in the sun. Wow. Wow. I didn't know that, Hill. Wow. Absolutely. Absolutely. LaShawn says, I usually pray in my car for traveling mercy. One day after I said amen, Holy Spirit told me to add, be a barrier. And I did. My car slid at a light and came six inches from a pole. Good God of my God. Woo! <laughs> Woo! My God, my God, my God. Holy Spirit is always working, always talking, always speaking. Remember that Holy Spirit has no heavenly ministry. I need you to grab that. Holy Spirit has no heavenly ministry. <laughs> Woo, down to a necklace that you lost. Absolutely. Holy Spirit has no heavenly ministry. He only has an earthly ministry. <laughs> Yvonne said, I had a major bill with a negative balance. Holy Spirit said, follow these steps. I paid it off in two months. I know you're right. Holy Spirit has no heavenly ministry. Said, I had an interview while on leave. Didn't know what to do. Didn't know what to say. Holy Spirit told me and I got the position. Absolutely. I need you to hear that. Holy Spirit has no heavenly ministry. Oh, God, in the name of Jesus. <laughs> Holy Spirit has no heavenly ministry. Only earthly. I need somebody to hear that. I need you to understand that the liaison between you and heaven, Father, the Son, the liaison, the emissary, is Holy Spirit. I need you to hear this. Kai Kai. Holy Spirit is with us in the earth to help us in the earth. I need you to hear that. Very seldom, if ever, Do we even see, and I'm looking, I, I don't want to make a declarative statement yet because I'm searching the scriptures. But every scripture that I have found and traced on the Holy Spirit is never him in the heavens. But always between heaven and earth. And I looked, I, I looked in revelations. I, I see the elders. I see the, the angels. I see all of this. I'm, I'm searching, I'm reading. Because when that statement came to me, I said, wow. <laughs> Ooh. Wow, I love this. One day I went to church, watch this. This is Wendy and for some reason, something had happened at church and I was in my feelings. So I thought, and I couldn't stop crying. I left church and I didn't know why. When I got home, Elder Corto was on the porch and my granddad, Elder John Dickerson had fallen. And if I hadn't listened and went home, no telling how long he wouldn't have been there, my God. Sandra Goldsby, absolutely. Hallelujah. Once I learned to talk and acknowledge Holy Spirit first thing when I open my eyes and everything throughout the day, I get instructions and favor as I go through the day, carrying out my daily tasks. 
Listen to this. Here we have Holy Spirit in the earth with us. Here we have Holy Ghost, Holy Spirit in the earth, not in the heavens. I want to show you this. And I'm going to show you how liberty, how freedom is obtained. And we know that Jesus has told us that Holy Spirit will be with us, lead us, and guide us. And he is our helper. He will teach us all things. He will bring all things to your remembrance. And this is the part that I love. In John 16, it says, Now, whatever he hears, he will speak. John chapter 16 in your paper Bible, verse 13. And he will tell you things to come. He will glorify me. This is Jesus speaking. For he will take from what is mine and declare it unto you. So the 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 emissary, the 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 go between heaven and us is Holy Spirit. So Holy Spirit now is in the earth to set us free from sin, to set us free from error. To set us free from not knowing. Set us free from feeling overwhelmed. Not knowing. Not having answers. Not knowing where our keys are, our children are. Not having peace about decisions in our finance. Holy Spirit's been warning me about something and I, I'm i gonna, I'm gonna, I, I hear him today. I got some moments to take care of some things. And Holy Spirit keeps wanting to say, open that mail and take care of this, take care of this. And I, I hear him and today I've got freedom, no homework, no nothing to take care of that. You understand what I'm saying to you? Now, Kimmy says, wow, Holy Spirit has no no, Holy Spirit ministry is earthly. Somebody put that in the chat. Holy Spirit's ministry is earthly. To set us free from ignorance. To set us free from not knowing what to do. To set us free from vices and habits and emotions. That's what he's in the earth. And he will take from what is heavenly and bring it to the earth so that you and I can access it. Good God Almighty. Holy Spirit's ministry is earthly. It is not heavenly. Good God Almighty. And everybody wants to get you to heaven. And that is the ministry of Jesus Christ. But how do I live free in the earth? Oh, somebody needs to hear me today. <laughs> Come on, Dr. Shelton. Come on here. Whoa! Holy Spirit's ministry is not Heavenly. Holy Spirit's ministry is earthly. It's always in the earth. The first time that we see Holy Spirit in Genesis chapter number one. Look at here. Look, look. I need you to hear this. I need you to see this. And I want to show you how freedom comes. Hey, Stephanie Alice Holmes, good to see you. I want you to see this. I want you to understand this. Coming up the timeline, y'all got to hear this. Woo, my God. 
It says now, the earth was without form and void. Darkness was on the face of the deep. And the spirit of God was hovering over the face of the water. Holy Spirit's ministry is not heavenly. I need you to hear this. Holy Spirit's ministry is earthly. Jesus is in heaven making intercession. Making intercession for us. Are you hearing me? He has ascended back into the heavens. He says to the father in 17, John, I've finished the work. Now give me the glory that you first prescribed for me. I have completed my assignment. Jesus says to the disciples in 14, John, I must go away. So comforter can come. I must go away. You always see the Holy Spirit coming down like a dove. How can I get pregnant and I've never known a man? The Holy Spirit will overshadow you. And you shall conceive. Come come with me, folks. Walk with me. I want to show you. I want to show you. I want to show you how we have underestimated, how we have made Holy Spirit heavenly. No, he's earthly. Holy Spirit is, is, is earthly. (laughs) God created the heavens and earth. Hallelujah. All you see and all you don't see. The earth was a soup of nothingness now. God creates the heavens and the earth. And God's spirit brooded like a bird over the watery abyss in the earth. How do I know this? I know this. I I want you to hear this. Holy Spirit is not heavenly it's earthly so what does that mean your help my help is in the earth with me holy spirit is with us god with us now is the spirit of god christ in us the hope of glory made real to us by the spirit living in us that we are now the temple of holy spirit there isn't a habit you can't break there isn't a nugget of knowledge you cannot access there is not a a a a a problem you can't solve there's not a, a addiction you can't break Holy Spirit, God Almighty, is in the earth to help you and help me to stay free from error. Listen, you need a paraclete. You need a helper. I need a helper. So why put the helper in heaven? Why would my helper be here on the earth with me? Come on, somebody. Holy Spirit's ministry is not heavenly. We will not need the Holy Ghost in heaven. Somebody put that down. We will not, Dr. Janine. God bless you, apostle, sis. God, we, you will not need Holy Spirit in heaven. You don't need the Holy Ghost in heaven. You won't need the Holy Ghost. You need Holy Spirit in the earth. Woo, shakaba. Woo, that's why you can say, Holy Spirit, what to do with this mic? And 
instantly. There's no channels. I don't have to go through channels. You don't have to go through channels to get right now answers. You have to, you have to wait 30 days to get right now answers, to get right now solutions. <laughs> this is why we have Holy Spirit in our lives. Welcome, Dr. Bishop Dorsey. God bless you, your grace. This is why we have been given Holy Spirit. You will not need the Holy Ghost in heaven. He emanates from heaven, but his ministry has always been in the earth. And this is why Jesus the Christ was so successful is because of his immediate access to Holy Spirit at all times. I need somebody to hear what I'm saying. <laughs> Whoa, Shakara of So Holy Spirit's assignment is to get me to heaven. His assignment is to present me faultless before the majesty of the glory of the Father and the Son. So when we speak the word of God, when we declare the scriptures, Holy Spirit is brooding over the scriptures so that those scriptures become our reality. Good God Almighty. Woo, you're not going to need the Holy Ghost in heaven, folks. You're gonna need, you need the Holy Ghost on your job. You need the Holy Ghost at Walmart. You need the Holy Ghost on this computer. You need the Holy Ghost to parent your children. You need the Holy Ghost to know what to cook for dinner. Woo, listen to me very carefully. Holy Spirit's assignment is to get us from earth to glory. So he is in the earth. Spirit of God is in the earth to give us freedom from sin. Not freedom to sin, but freedom from sin. Freedom from error. Freedom from dumb mistakes. Freedom from stupid decisions. Let's not make this deep. Everything ain't about gambling and about fornication and drug. Just so I ain't stupid. Whoa. 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 Shakababasia. How am I transformed into the image of Jesus Christ here in the earth before I get to heaven? By the power of the Holy Spirit. Oh, are you listening to me? Whoa, I, listen, it ain't, I, I, I'm past the point now, you know, doing sin stuff and, and, and iniquity stuff and transgression stuff. I ain't doing that now. Come on, Dr. Mitch, I ain't doing that now. I'm old enough and wise enough to know that all that stuff ain't got nothing to do with me. I'm free from that. Been there, done that. T-shirts, ashtrays, and mugs. I got it all. But Holy Spirit is in the earth. So I ain't stupid. So I am operating in wisdom. I'm free from stupidity. Free from dumbness. Free from error. That I can access the intellect of God. Woo. 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 So I'm not dysfunctional. Can, can, can somebody listen? Y'all talking about this, this, that, and smoking and drinking and look. All that's dumb. It's all dumb. So I said, well, I can't find it in the Bible, but it's dumb. 
Makes your breath stink. Makes your teeth and your lips brown. Makes your lungs this, you know, not able to breathe. Come on, that, that ain't got to see. It's dumb. I don't want to be dysfunctional. I don't want to have a Whoa! That temper tantrum, that ain't sin. It's dumb. You walking around with mad at folks and accusing people? Yeah, that's not sin. That's just dumb. That's just immature. That's dysfunctional. Holy Spirit is in the earth. So I'm not dysfunctional. Somebody put that in the chat. Whoa, shakata bohushka. Whoa, baba bahate de hushkete. Riko na mama shika. Whoa, it's just dumb. It's dumb for you to go with some some other man's wife. It's dumb for you to go with some other woman's husband. That's just dumb. Okay, okay. Whoa, shakata bahande. It's dumb for you to be married and sleeping around. It's dumb for you to, to eat a whole cake. It's dumb. Some stuff is dumb. It's dysfunctional. And that's what keeps you in bondage. Is your dysfunctional decisions when you have access to the intellect of God. That's his job in the earth, is to give you access to the intellect of God. Woo, Rabbi Hashgata. <laughs> I don't have to look dysfunctional. I don't have to be dumb. I don't have to look foolish. I don't have to be in my, in my feelings. I, 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 I'm just in my feelings. Why? 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 Don't you realize that's dysfunctional? When you have God in the earth with you that can give you the remedy, the answer. And sometimes God will send his answer through a person that challenges you, challenges your thought process, challenges the way that you deduct things, your inductive thinking, challenges the way that you come to conclusions, challenges the way that you make decisions, challenges your outcomes, your outcomes outcomes are dumb. Your outcomes look foolish. So let's reevaluate the way that you make decisions. Let's reevaluate what your emotions are really telling you and how you can avoid the error of your feelings. You don't have to be mad. You don't have to be dysfunctional. You don't listen. You don't have to be in bondage to your emotionals, uh, your emotional breakdowns and temper tantrums. You don't have to do that. Holy Spirit glorifies Jesus when we accept what he brings us as heavenly wisdom. He brings us heavenly answers. Some of us need to right now invite Holy Spirit into these dysfunctional cycles. This is the liberty that Christ has given us by his spirit that we are no longer bound to stupid. We are no longer bound to temper tantrums and outrageous declarations and foolish gestures and accusations and just dumb stuff. Come on now. Y'all making the Holy Spirit too much. You making the Holy Spirit too. You're, you're overthinking this. You're overthinking Holy Spirit, you're, you're, oh, 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 no, ask him to help you with your dumbness. God, I don't want to be dumb. I don't want to be dysfunctional. I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to, I don't want, no, Holy Spirit, no, no, keep me from error. 
keep me from making stupid mis mistakes and dumb decisions. You want to be free from this stuff. You want to be free from temper tantrums. You want to be free from dysfunctional behavior and cycles. You want to be free. You want to be free from this. And so Holy Spirit is in the earth to help us with stupid, to help us with dumb, to help us with dysfunctionalities, to help us with cycles. Oh, because Holy Spirit is in the earth to bring us heavenly wisdom. And don't do it like that. Don't do that like that. Don't do that like that. Do that like this. Do that, do, do, do that. Like, keep me from bad decisions and reactionary choices that when I'm in my feelings, Holy Spirit, steady me. Steady my emotions. Steady me. Watch this. 2 Corinthians chapter number three. Let's go there. Praise God. So Holy Spirit keeps me from sin, keeps me from dishonesty, keeps me from dysfunction, keeps me from dumb, keeps me from stupid. Some of us have dysfunctional behavior and we're saved, but we're dysfunctional in areas. We don't even realize, Dr. Stewart, we don't realize that our behavior is unstable. We don't realize that, oh God. And so when my, my, my weaknesses start showing up, when my dysfunctionalities, Dr. Hyman, when my infirmities, when my weaknesses begin to show up, Holy Spirit is in the earth to help me with them. Help me in my weakness. The supposition in that text helps me in my way, in the thrust, in the throes. And some of us have adopted bad habits. We've been broken and hurt and disappointed. And so we have established certain, certain boundaries that we call them uh, to protect ourselves. But we don't need to do that. We have Holy Spirit that will lead us mo moment by moment better than a GPS. That will lead us, listen, are y'all listening to me? That will lead us and guide us. A leader is in front. A guide is with us. A guide is giving us the blow by blow. A leader knows where they're going. The guide is giving us interpretation of all the sights and the sceneries, all of the points of attraction, and all of the things that we should avoid and the things that we should flee, the things that we should run from. Holy Spirit has no earthly ministry. I'm sorry, has no heavenly ministry. Holy Spirit only has an earthly ministry. Holy Spirit only has an earthly ministry, not a heavenly ministry. And so we have to be more reliant, more reliant. We've set up walls. We've set up these boundaries. We have set up all of these, these gates out of fear and and apprehension and all religion and doctrine. And, and some of you are living in your trauma, eating it day and night, drinking from the cup of traumatized experiences of childhood. You continue to feed yourself and refeed yourself. You continue to drink from the cup of your mental breakdown, from your nervous breakdown. You continue to drink from it and eat from it. And all this business, I want to set you free from that. I want to set you free from that. I want you to be free from that. I'm here. You don't have to drink from that anymore. You don't have to eat from the plate of sorrow anymore. You don't have to eat from the plate of grief and agonizing pain anymore. You don't have to do this. I'm right here. I'm here. You don't have to pray, you know, wait for me to arrive from heaven and pray to heaven and Go through step one and gate three and, and, and secretary 19. No, I'm right here with you because I don't have a heavenly ministry. 
I have an earthly ministry. Tell me to help help you with your memory. Tell me to take that out of you. Give me access. Stop bringing that up. Stop raising it. Let me give you a new foundation, a new baseline. Second Corinthians 3, watch this. We know this very well. Now the Lord is that spirit. Verse 17. And where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. For the Lord is that spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. And where the, wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Now you got to stop and think. If there is no liberty here, Holy Spirit is not here. Because wherever the Holy Spirit is, there is liberty. Independence. I'm not so sure that I want to be independent. I want to be interdependent. I realize that Independence Day is the day that we got our freedom. Somebody did. We did. But I want to talk about interdependence, not even interdependence. I want to talk about liberty. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. If you are still in a state of trauma, the spirit of the Lord is not there. You have not invited him into that. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. If you are struggling in your finances, the spirit of the Lord is not there. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. There is freedom. If you have a broken heart, the spirit of the Lord is not there. Because he binds up the wounds of the broken heart. There's oil for your healing. If you are stuck in a horrific relationship, the Spirit of the Lord is not there. If you are tangled up and tied up in some type of external stuff, drugs, sex, all of that, the Spirit of the Lord is not there. There's healing for your soul. There is a balm in Gilead. There is a physician in Zion. And the medicine, the oil that he uses in our lives is good for the healing of the nation. There is healing for your body. There is healing for your mind. There is healing for your soul. There is a bomb in killing. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. I want you to understand that you are free from sin. Not free to sin, but free from sin. <laughs> God will give you a miracle of the mind. God will give you a miracle of the emotions. God will give you a miracle. We always ask God, heal my body. Ask him today, Holy Spirit, heal my mind. Some of us need to be healed from religiosity. Our mind is so overtaken with religion. Heal my mind. Holy Spirit, heal my soul. Right there where you are right now. He, he doesn't have to come from you. He's right there. He's in the earth right there with you. 
Some of you got bad minds. Ask Holy Spirit, help me and heal my mind. My mind ain't good. I had a trauma. I had a breakage. I, I had something that happened and I'm dysfunctional in that area. Holy Spirit, heal my mind. There's healing for your body. There's healing for your soul. There's healing for your mind. So we don't have to be dysfunctional. Wherever the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Be free today. Be free today. Stop asking the Holy Spirit to come from heaven and help you. He's right there. Ask him right there. Holy Spirit, you're here to help me. You do not have a heavenly ministry. You are here to help me. I don't have to be afraid of the dark. I don't have to run from ghosts and goblins. I don't have to be afraid of Halloween. I don't have to be afraid of demons. I don't have to be afraid of witches and warlocks. I don't have to be afraid of cults. I don't have to be afraid of religion. I don't have to be afraid to go on planes. I don't have to be afraid to get in the elevator. I don't have to be afraid to do none of that. Because if I get on the elevator, Holy Spirit, you're right here with me. If I get on a plane, Holy Spirit, you're right here with me. I don't have to be afraid to go out of my house. I have to be afraid. Holy Spirit, wherever you are, there is liberty. I challenge you on this July 4th, 2023 to experience the liberty that is in Christ Jesus by his Holy Spirit. I challenge you today to let him break all the bondages off of you. Stop using excuses. My mama, my daddy, my, no, you have a liberator. He is your freedom rider. Holy Spirit is our freedom rider. Holy Spirit is our deliverance. Holy Spirit comes to bring liberty. Receive it today. Receive it. Let him heal you. Let him give you the steps out. Let him give you the strategies, he's right there, talk to him. Know that he's right there. And whatever you need, he's there to bring liberty. Woo, I gotta get out of here. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah, hallelujah. Glory to God, Lord, we thank you for the paracletos. We thank you that you thought enough of us to not leave us helpless. And we thank you, Holy Spirit, we ask you to forgive us for underestimating your presence and your abilities to help us. Give us great peace today in Jesus' name. Amen. I gotta go. Have a super, super day.